Let's see here what we got. What do we got? What do we got? Hey, hey, what's going on, Brian? Hey, Clint, what's going on? Too much. Just watching the Super Bowl, watching some TV shows and whatnot. Keeping up what's going on with the Super Bowl. Any good commercials? Uh, there's been a couple good ones. Oh, yeah? Let me just turn your volume <laughs> down a little bit. Like, uh... There was one with the giant Snickers that they, like, plummet into, like, the center of the earth, which is <laughs> hilarious. Nice. <laughs> nice. Let's see here. Let's go to... Stir. I'm really keeping an eye on. I have a square on the uh, Rocket Mortgage thing. Nice. That they have for the giveaway. Um, that they're randomly choosing people per square to give them like 50 grand. So I was like, it's a free sign up. So that's awesome. Why not? Why the heck not? I don't want to put any, any of those buffs. Boom, baby. Hey, Star. Okay. What's going on, dude? I'm live on Work to Play if uh, you want to come hang out on and watch the gameplay. Play some anthem. Yeah, playing a little anthem, trying to get some ice tight stuff knocked out. And then uh, thinking about doing some Temtem after that, but I was just like, gosh, we'll play some Anthem. I'm close. I feel like I'm close. Close to what? Getting uh, the ice tight stuff all knocked out. Like, Let's see how. Yeah, as a matter of fact, yesterday I finally got to elemental level 60 in Eureka. Congrats. And I also have all the... Uh, Things. I just gotta get the weapon fully upgraded. Mm -hmm. It takes a while. Member emoji. Chill room. The only problem is you're probably not. Oh, wait, you only just started streaming not long ago, so I was gonna say. Yeah, I just started. The, uh... You get, I mean, you're probably not getting the maximum. Like. Hmm? Because, uh. I'm guessing not everyone's subscribed to this. Oh yeah, this is yeah. like how YouTube is functioning. It just it makes a lot of sense for us just to say, okay, like live stream, live content. We'll do the live letter over here. That's this week. Uh, just kind of our live because people either like live content or not. So it's just like when we look at it, uh, it's just like let's just put live over here because YouTube doesn't have that ability to really distinguish between the two. And some people like live and some people don't. Some people like the archives, and what we want is that when you sub, you know what you're getting. Uh, and so it's because, like, Work to Game, we do a lot of variety of content that doesn't appear to be, like, the best, you know, when it comes down to it. Because it's like, wait a minute, like, you're getting the pot. Like, ideally, we'd like to move the podcast over to the podcast channel. Ideally, we'd like, you know, so it's like, here's what you know when you're getting, because... I think that's what the AI with the YouTube's algorithm is, is like generally people like if you sub to a podcast channel, you yeah. expect podcasts. I'm drinking some claws right now, so I might get a little pontifical pontification. Uh, Brian, I was going to ask you, did you check out the topic that I posted under the thing? The videos? Yeah, I saw the, uh, your suggestion. Yeah. Uh, I haven't. Let me actually look at that again. Video. Basically, it's like how nintendo oh basically yeah they're double dipping. dipping yeah no i thought about that sub taco i think uh, that'd be a good topic to about. hey guys this is taco taco star uh, a clink Hello. we're hanging out over we uh we decided that from a youtube streaming perspective it just makes more sense to stream to it like a like this is the live streaming channel because i think the algorithm I didn't, likes i likes didn't that. think you'd be streaming tonight my goal is to stream Sundays, Sunday evenings, and Monday evenings. And that's it. <laughs> no, I just didn't think you'd be streaming tonight because of the Super Bowl. Do you think I like sports? <laughs> Do you? I played them. My knees hurt from football. My prayer is that my son does not, my sons now, don't want to play football. Whenever you're ready, Taco, we can, we can jump in. We can also do free play, like whatever you feel like you need. I need more free play stuff. Than anything else, but all right. Uh, what are we doing? Jam three or what? Yeah. Oh, good call. But yeah, Brian, like I'm looking right now. Um, apparently somebody put on a trending for gaming on Twitter for number forty one. 
but the Fire Emblem Heroes channel thing got already downvoted by more than half than its actual likes. I don't know. I don't know. It, like, I don't. I don't see any of that negatively impacting sales. Like, as much as Anthem well, got crapped on, it was the number fifteenth best selling game in twenty nineteen. And if they, the thing is, is what I think what people are getting mad about is, and I don't blame them, is how they're basically making it pay to win by the They make it. Oh, well, the 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 Pokemon Home, like. I don't know, why don't they just bundle that all into the Nintendo subscription thing? That's exactly what I was saying. Like, oh, that'd be yeah. way better. It's not only for that, but even... I'm just even talking for, like, Fire Emblem Heroes for, like, their mobile game. Like, sure, it's free to play, like, right now, but... It's still, like... It's still made, like, a ton of money off of, uh, R and Jesus. <laughs> Good old R and Jesus. But no, like, um, we don't have cable uh, stars, so I don't traditionally watch the Super Bowl unless, like, we're invited someplace. But with little kids, and they've all been sick this weekend, literally, it's just been like, all right, like, I'll watch the commercials tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, people Xbox think that is going to be a new Battle Royale. People think there's going to be a new Battle Royale. Activision. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, I. that's the thing about, like, Black Ops. Like, I loved like the, the battle royale and they're like why is this bundled in here like why is this not its own thing because the thing about activision is i can't i can't fathom that people spend money on microtransactions in any game because in six months it's new <laughs> it's like reset good evening all hey what's up guy? uh just working on some schoolwork got one more thing to do nice uh, I, I've been trying to tackle my backlog. Nice. Uh, I didn't. Hello. It feels like fire. I love this, like, electric gun. Yeah. Should it I be doing like any fire. puzzle thing right now? Wow, dang, I'm already times three. Um, it... well, I thought we were full group. Um, I don't have a two other people. Alright, what if I want to, If we want to get a full group, I'm game for that. What I typically do is uh, go ahead, collect the red orbs, spawn a boss before killing anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's some puzzle over here. There's way too many people at the puzzle. Okay, well, I'm not gonna touch it. I'll let them uh, do the puzzle, I'll let them do the. Um, grab all the canisters. And typically, when when we run uh, anything, we usually spawn the boss before collecting anything. Okay. To get those um, extra bonuses. Yeah. One person is pretty much doing one thing, you know. Yeah. This is by far like my least favorite stronghold. Hey, Sora. Oh, man. All right, fine. Oh, God. I have no armor on this <laughs> though. I get you. What's up, Star? So people think he's going to be a content release for Temtem this week? Uh, content release for Temtem? Yeah, that's why people are thinking. I'd be worried. Like, I don't know, man. Like, everybody thinks there's going to be a Switch Pro every year. Like, it's a... Oh! Down. I don't know. I think it's a two different things, though. I don't know. Oh, uh, there is or is. Like, I'm loving the content that they've got so far. Uh, I mean, like, that... Uh, the, I, I guess you haven't reached the embryo block yet, but... They're, um, I'm trying to get to this one place. I put on the, like, the, the suit, and I've run around this area, and I can't figure out where the heck they want me to go. Oh, I know what part you mean. All right, boss is up. All right, I'm going to respawn. I'll grab you. Oh. oh no. No, you guys, you're good. I'm going to respawn. Yeah, I'm back. Hey, Brian. 
You mean yes. the ballesto thing they want you to wear? The what? You mean the AM uniform they want you to wear? Yeah, I got that. And then I put it on. You're meant to go outside that big tree place. Yeah, like that's where I'm trying. I was talking to the guards and I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. So. Sit down. I love that I get that chain lightning effect. <laughs> Good go. Ah. So how much is Anthem on Steam? Uh, Anthem isn't on Steam, but it's like if you have EA access for like five bucks, it's like it's included. Uh. I wish it was on like. If it was on Steam, that'd be kind of an interesting kind of thing. They, didn't they start, aren't they putting some of their games on Steam? Uh, I believe so. That's nice. I think EA and Steam teamed up. They're going to be working on it uh, over the next year or so. Nice. Did, did, did they put um, Dragon Age on it? Or am I Fire Emblem? Uh, I'm not certain what games they have on there, honestly. Okay. I'm following your lead, Taco. Uh, I didn't hear the. Together for a little bit. This is gonna be a terrible run. Oh. <laughs> I can't find the uh, plushie. Did we get it or did it disappear? Nah, it doesn't disappear. It's usually uh, up on the pillar. One of these pillars. Or. Oh, it, yeah, they move it around. Hmm. Interesting. Are you sure our other teammates didn't get it? Yeah, this guy just got it. Okay, cool. Boom, baby. We're live on the work to play seg. If anybody wants to, like, watch, it's up to y'all. <laughs> I can't believe I am too Yeah, I got you on screen in the back. Thanks, dude. I'm like you. Thank you. Yeah, since I don't completely have, missed uh, it. Since I don't have Anthem, no. I decided to play Destiny. No, Del Monte, no. Oh, Bad should Del I Monte. not be getting the, uh... No. You gotta tell me these things. How did you play? I do, I don't give a crap. <laughs> like, I'm just in. Like, I, I don't think I've ever done, like, a, uh, I haven't played with anybody in voice, so it's just kind of like, alright, kill the bad guys. And I've been pulling, like, and I don't, I'm knowing I'm not in the leaderboards, but I've been pulling, like, 12, 13 mil, like, on GM3. Not bad. You've been getting lucky with, uh... Probably. Uh, random. Oh, now we're supporting the other boss. Oh my god. Yes. Dad Gummy, get off me. Did we get the uh, all the pieces down yet? Yeah. Well okay. we we just stood on the other one. Yeah. Good. Mark target down. down. What do you think 5.2 is going to drop? Uh, I think it's the 18th. Yeah, I'm thinking that the 18th as well. Yeah. That makes sense, I think. It's Talk logical. About, about the the live letters this week, and then the 18th. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to follow you, Taco. Okay. Alec, right. what's happening? My connection's down. Uh, oh, no. When Did you yeah. For the weak Focus on um, I don't maybe? think they're gonna announce the fan first yet. 
Well, no, they I might. Think that they may. They might. Uh, Actually, no, they did last time, didn't they? Around the That's how they usually do it. They announce it in a live letter usually, and it is usually around February. Yeah, because it makes it because you want to get your, you know, tickets. It's nothing because like they said it might not be in Vegas, and I'm like, all right, like trying to get more people out and stuff, which would be great. If you want to tell people, some people can get like the cosplays made and everything. And... Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, I might, if if at all possible, like try to get a house or something. Like I don't know where it's at, but we had a house for BlizzCon, and that was fun. <laughs> I need. I wish I could come down. So like, go. I want to go. Chili made the flight. I you should maybe be able to make it then. Okay. Okay. Right now, every, every time I get paid, I'm gonna put some money back so I can come to the contest. That's the best way to do it, man. That's that, uh, what is that, what's that called? A, uh, a sinking fund? A fund. It's not an emergency fund, it's like, alright, like, like Christmas. You want to be sub, too. I know, you gotta be ready. Yeah, I'm sub. Oh, by the way, um, did anybody send me a, a resub thing on Twitch? No, I haven't. Because I logged in, uh, yesterday, and I got a resub thing, and they gave me, like, ten gold chocobo feathers, and... Oh, nice. I guess somebody did. And the whistle for the TCR. That's awesome. So I have no okay, idea. I'm not getting these things. I'm gonna let somebody else handle that. If if I got the last one, that was a bad move. If anybody is, if we are live streamed, anybody who did this far the hard Can we can we spawn the boss before killing anything, guys? All right. So don't kill anything, spawn boss. Yeah, we gotta blow. Uh, blow try the to find rocks. All these. Uh, yeah. Okay. For there's, many points. Okay, there's a rock thing in here. I'm already looking forward to a. Uh, what is it? E3. <laughs> like, I don't want that to happen, but. I'm oh, yeah. Like, about I've, it. I was talking to my manager and I was like, gosh, like, I want to go to E3. We're not big enough yet. Because, like, last time we applied, they're like, you got to be 100k subs. I'm like, oh, man, we're, like, now we're at 50. I'm like, I know that's not enough. They'll probably say the same thing, but I was like, it could be the last E3. I don't know. I know, it's a bit scary, isn't it? It's hard to tell what's gonna happen. I mean... I don't really... I don't really think of it as you can, uh, scary. You can kill. I can kill them? Alright. That's my kind of command. Well, uh, uh, kill the boss first. It'd just be sad. Oh, I see, yeah, I see him. Right, okay, he's down. He's I don't know. Sad. I don't know, I don't think I'd be too sad about it. I mean, it's... I don't know, I see it as like an eventful thing. I mean, it, it is, but... I mean, if they get rid of E3, they could do stuff like Nintendo does and just, you know, oh, yeah, it's like a I, honestly, yeah, yeah, all year round. I think what E3 right, is though. trying to do is they're trying to go with that quote unquote influencer kind of mindset. And I'm like, I don't know. I hate that word. But it'd be kind of nice just to be out there to be like, because it's like from a networking perspective, it's like, oh, hi. <laughs> I make I like, make videos. Like when you went to BlizzCon. Yeah, BlizzCon was fun. We got some good contacts. I wonder. If, uh, I know Chris has been away, but I wonder if he's gonna talk about the World Cup. I don't know, man. Like Chris has such a a love for for Blizzard. I I don't know what they could do. <laughs> like, I don't know what they could. He was just like, I don't know. Like, uh, and I'm like, all right, yeah, I get it. Like. I mean, that's kind of the thing. I don't, I'm don't. i not going to sit here and just like, I don't want to sit here and just be negative and be like, Oh, Blizzard, how could they act like they've been acting? I mean, that's, that's kind of like us. I mean, if we're being honest with like Square Enix, I mean, we give them a lot of uh, leeway as well. Well, we love, I, we I, I worry though, because it's like, if, you, if you're even like slightly critiquing, there is a part of the community that is like, like, well, do nothing but like try to eat your lunch. Oh yeah. I was like, all right, like you. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't like the decisions they've made recently. Blizzard? No, I haven't liked the decisions they've been making for a long time. I know. They've gone backwards. Well, <laughs> and it's like at the at the at the whole um at the whole that the uh, thing they were like, like okay, it's about our actions, and it's like okay, I I, I get that. I should speak louder than that. And they do, and then all of a sudden it's like, well, okay, I know there's something we're supposed to spawn over here. I don't know, I mean, I think at the end of the day, just gonna throw a patch on it, be fixed. Well, at the, at the end of the day, like, when you go look at the numbers, it does, it, like, for as mad as people are on YouTube, oh. Oh, he just, he just teleports, never mind. It's gone. just the user scores that are bad. Right, but it's like, you know, outside of, like, the Warcraft, like, the Warhammer or whatever the hell it is, um, like, with, uh, like, when everybody was mad about Call of Duty. I mean, this is the best selling game of 2019. Like. Did you show a view bombing? I don't think. Gosh. Die. Die, little. That, that, uh, I don't know if it makes sense to give a who you. To give a game a zero. I'm not really. Uh, I mean, I've, I've played this uh, this year's yeah. Call of Duty. I think it's way better than what it has been in the previous years. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I know, it, I know what you mean. It's definitely improved. Actually, I haven't played it, but I can sort of attest to it. Like, the guys that I work with, like, I wouldn't expect them to be, like, really in the, like, in the gamer area. And that's all I do when they come into lunch and they talk about, like, six of the guys that I work with. <laughs> They're too late. Much too late. He's taller, right? I'm not, not seeing things. Definitely not seeing yeah. things. Yeah. The answer. Hey, did you know that, uh, there's another monster collecting game coming out? Oh, what's the collect- what, what game's coming out? Another monster collecting MMO. <laughs> Good. It's called, uh, kin Kindred Fates. Let's get- it's been kickstarted, I'm not sure if it's reached its goal yet. Alright, well then, so it's a while, a while away. Yeah, it's meant to be like 2023, the final game. <laughs> 2023? Wow. It's quite interesting, actually. You can actually become the monster. Oh, I was gonna say, did you uh, go a little off topic, but talk about the starter stuff? Did you see that uh, Latinum is trying to pick Star for one on one? Are they? For uh, PS4. I love that game. Well, I love v v Beautiful Joe more. <laughs> yeah, but they're trying to... Bit. Uh, I charged the white one for you. He's changing the monitor. He's linked to the storm. <laughs> You're welcome. The I love you, Nick. Hey, bye. Okay, I'm gonna let them collect all these wonderful, wonderful green things. It looks like we you missed one. Should I go get the one they missed? No, it's it's backwards. Okay. Uh, I'm doing some uh, Luma hunting. Nice, dude. Uh, some again. of them did. They didn't collect all of them. <laughs> if you got two others, we can run with a Bremay. That way we can have a little bit more control. Okay. If I got a duplicate Luma, I'd definitely give it to you. Thanks, dude. I'll take it. Yeah, I'm, lo I'm loving. I'm loving everything I've been doing in Temtem. I'm. Well, I want to finish and get like all the way through like you know what they've got in you know for the um for the game itself. But because uh, I want to get into the breeding side of it, because the yeah, whole the SV thing. Track. I got a couple of perfect SVs. And I'm like, oh yeah. dang, come, this is great. Oh, I'm out of ammo. The breeding yeah. side's definitely a lot more complicated. Oh yeah, but you get those perfect SVs, man, and then like you can just like. Oh, like I, the, the the perfect SV Luma, like in and of itself, mathematically, just seems like. And then when they get the auction house and stuff like that, if you oh, uh, I don't know, man. Like I can see there's gonna be a real big economy for like. You I think know. there's gonna be more ways to get Lumas in the future. Yeah. Like you know to increase your odds. Oh, yeah. what's up, cool I casual think, gamer? I think if they add clans. I think Ooh, clans are gonna be. Oh man, I'm all out of ammo. I hope we can have clan houses. Oh, I bet, dude. Like, I bet they're gonna. Hey, 
Damn. Oh, I'm down. When I'm not sure, um, you seen how much I was having playing with Chris, like when he was around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that was fun. He seems like he likes the game. Oh, yeah. Chris is really actually he's been really impressed by it. We ready to roll out back to the one though? I need to grab some yeah. ammo. All right, cool. Oh! I like I had like full health. I was like one shot. You can uh, you know, you can respawn, right? Yeah, I'm not dead. Oh. No, no, I'm saying to to get over here quicker. Oh, the uh, like the map thing. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm almost here. Now I'm back. Boom, baby! Ah, oh, dude, cool. I'm doing really good, man. I'm doing really good. You haven't updated on It's still the same music. It's just... Yeah, the ice tight season is what makes it different. And I actually like... There's some things that I'm like, man, if they could get this... Like... Like, it just looked like the leaderboards, the scores, like, it does... It is a different game. But uh, I'm just interested to see what they do with, you know, with 2.0 or next or whatever they want to call it. You definitely have a chance to succeed. You just have to do well, it. Well, as long as they don't quit, like it's, you know, like the only time games actually like die is like when the developers like, all right, we done. But I mean, the sales numbers on the game alone, I think. Say like, and the fact is, like, anytime you post a video about Anthem up at all, that you get plenty of people coming in. You know, it's like I, I've always kind of viewed that even if they're hating on the game, there's just a general the connection people, people have care. with it. People still care. Oh, legendary! Still okay. People care, don't they, in some way? In some way, it's up to it's up to Bioware to to really show, not tell. Like, there's they they don't offer and they don't need any words. They just need to sit back and say, here's how it is. I think I play Anthem now more than I ever did when it first came out. Well, me too. And I've even thought, I put it up a poll, see if anybody want me to make a video about it. But the Destiny Season of the Dawn, like the season model in Destiny, actually cut, gives me anxiety. So I just kind of said, no. I wonder what you mean. And it's just like, and you mean it, recently? It, it, yeah, because in Anthem, it feels like I'm playing. The season gives me all this, these extra things to do, which is great, but my progression is progressing. Where in Destiny, they reset your, de your uh, progression. And so when we had Gabriel, like I, was, I felt immediately behind the curve. And then, and, like, sure, I could probably grind it out and get to, and get to camp. Um, but it just got to the point where I was just like, why do I... I'm just like, ugh. And I'm mostly, I'm a PvP player in Destiny. And so they really haven't done much with PvP, so I was just like... Okay, like, I guess I'll check it out again in the next season, and that's fine. Like, I don't hate the game at all. I've just been drawn more into the seasonal mindset of Anthem. And I was just like, huh. So I thought about talking about it, and so I was like, how do I talk about it without it, no matter what, seeming like a clickbait title? Because <laughs> it's like, you're going to get the the Anthem haters, the Destiny apologists, and you're going to get the Anthem, you know, it's like, I don't, I don't know if a way of, like, Figuring that out, so I posted the question. Somebody put uh, said they thought of a good title, and I was like, "All right, I might do that. I might do that this week." Either way, it's hard to like, you know, wait, get, make a video that's good for both people. Well, and it's 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 not like it's it's like how I actually really like what they've done with Ice Tide as a seasonal model concept versus that of what Destiny has done. And it's like, oh, so we'll have to see what what ultimately happens. It's it's a weird problem that these games are trying to solve, and this last uh, this last year with uh, Shadowkeep, Destiny has tried to solve it one way. Anthem has put this in, and I actually really like it. I feel like it's rewarding that there's a. Uh, it, I think it marries to the RNG progression. And Taco, yeah. I'd be interested in your thoughts because my my com like original complaint with the progression is once I hit thirty everything became RNG and that means I always kind of described it as I go to work and at the end of the day I roll dice to see if I got paid 
but with ice tight, it feels like it gives me a, a like a, a, a trackable or measurable form in which that I'm I can I can get a guaranteed legendary if I put in enough effort. If I if I we run this and get enough shards, you know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, my input is going to be fairly meaning meaningless because I started. I mean, I played up until I played on and off up until uh, October, mm -hmm. and uh, it was just the same old anthem. Yeah. And I left. Uh, I was in Japan up until end of December, so when I came back, I missed all. I missed everything. I missed all the updates. I missed like all the gear. I missed mm -hmm. all the events, and I just came back to Ice Tide, and I I left. Um, liking the game mm -hmm. um i left i i think my playtime was like one like 180 180 hours on anthem because it's nice. only game i play on origin and now i'm at like 540 hey gum dude that's awesome um i like this event yeah. i like the game right now i left with like when i left it, it still had all those problems and I don't have any of those problems right now. Up until yeah, uh, like the, two days ago, the system yesterday, runs well. Like it, like the game runs really well. They've st stability-wise got that down. Um, I love that, like the guardian tokens to be able to go and say, "Hey, what oh, do yeah, I want?" Yeah, for sure. It, it just feels like it marries the RNG better because it's like, well, like the thing I always felt, and like it never happened to me. I always seem to be really lucky with drops and with loot. So. I would be having a very nice experience and then like somebody else would be like, I, I'm not even seeing any purples. You know, it's like, I don't, I can't help you, dude. I have no idea. <laughs> it's like, everything's raining legendaries over here. And then it just like, it creates this like, what the hell? You know, like uh, now it's pretty much just getting legend. Now legendary is so common. You're looking for Ingram, specific the, roles. To how you, yeah. Yeah. It's um, those, uh, not Ingrams. It's the, uh, Inf infusions and in, in, what are they called? Um, Why am I drawing light? It starts with an E. All right, what do do we want to do? Inscriptions. Inscriptions. Yeah. Do we want to do another seasonal? Like, uh, do you want to? Do we have two other guys we want to grab? And I don't see. Uh, Blessed was on. Um, he he's doing something with the kids right now. He's gonna be back. Let's see if I got uh, any friends on. Sovereign. But he's five eighteen. Hmm. We have the we have the guild. <laughs> oh man, if they get that, if they can get all that in this game, like where you can manage your guild and stuff, that'd be sweet. All right, uh, do yeah. we do we want to just do uh, like free play? Because I I've got a form yeah, that crap. Cool. Let's go. I honestly play. um, you know, I honestly miss the times. You know when um MMOs yeah. were just around <laughs> more. Hey uh. Well, I mean, we can start free play. Blast is coming on. He's setting up. He has issues with his mic. I think okay. he got a new one. Okay. The um, do we want to uh, on free play? Do we want to do the grand uh, grandmaster three? Of course. Cool, cool. Figured I'd ask. I don't need to do really anything. I'm just. Well, thanks, Taco. Um. I don't. Aww. Only thing I don't care for in this ice side event is um, the canisters because I've never felt more anxiety in my life playing a video game. <laughs> than doing the harvest for those canisters. I'll take care of the canisters if you guys keep the enemies off me. I'm away for blessed. Is he on my friends list? Blessed or Mike? Blessed or Mike? Um, I'm not seeing him. Well, I, I can invite him to the game via Origin. Yeah, yeah, we're on Origin. Where do we start? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> At the end of the music, I guess I should turn on some tunes. <laughs> we're not monetized on on this new channel, so it's like, I can play whatever I want. <laughs> You know, if Activision come out with that new soup um, battle royale, like, and I'll, I'll honestly be interested. <laughs> I, I like battle royale. I like. I really enjoy the the style. I love the drama behind it. You don't play and um, play Apex Legends anymore. Do I you? do. Well, I haven't played at Apex in a while. I've been 
just so busy, and it's like, well, I mean, yeah, I could I could play Apex, time. or do I need to, or should I be low? And that's, it's, you know, I'm not sitting here bemoaning it. Like, I really enjoy, you know, I, I look at, you know, content creation as a part of my my job. It's not the bulk of, of the money, but it does help out with, like, the electric bill and a couple, you know, pays for the games and stuff. Um, yeah. You know, so I'm sitting here, I'm like, yeah, so I, but I look at that and I treat that. And so I'm sitting here like, well, do I... Do I play this? You know, and so that's kind of one of the things I've really focused in on 2020 is like I want to play more games and make less content. And so it's like, yeah. So I've been like today I was playing Dragon Quest Builders two with Maddie, and uh, yeah, like I'm not making a video about it. I'm just enjoying just, playing a game with Maddie. Enjoying, yeah. You know, and so it's like, yeah, like and I was thinking about that same kind of thing. The weird thing is, at the end of the day, what I prioritize more than anything, is getting into the game as quickly as possible. Hands down. And that's where yeah. my love and my frustration with Stadia comes into play. It is the fastest way I can play Destiny 2. And the only downside is, I don't want to play Destiny 2. <laughs> I want to play. I want to play some Anthem. Mm -hmm. I want to play Temtem. I want to play Final Fantasy XIV. I want to play you know, Apex. I want to do all these things. And when I look at what the, what the Xbox Series X and PS5 have to do, they have to replicate that experience for me locally. Um, you know, they're going to have the games. And so hopefully I can get into xCloud. I'd love to start testing that out. I was looking into oh, GeForce yeah. Now at different solutions for that just to see, like, hey, what's got the best, um, you know, well, who's got the best service? How can we go about this in a, in a really good way? And that's ultimately where, you know, like, once somebody has the Internet and they can do what, because, like, I'm playing this in the game in the cloud right now. Once you have that ability, you're gonna. It's going to be. It's gonna be a slow transition, but it's gonna be a transition nonetheless. To where all of a sudden you're like, what? Am, what do you mean I can have this high end gaming PC for free, and I just need to buy the game? <laughs> okay. Hey, not a lot of people can afford them, can they? Gaming PC. So. Well, and that's that's the thing. It's like you know, every everybody was always like PS3 limitations for fourteen. No, it was it was a core two duo PC, like was the minimum requirements that they had to meet. And PS3 was actually even more powerful than that. But it's just you know, At I find time, things yeah, very humorous. Was. What's the short uh, cut to get and open up uh, Origin? On a, I, I'm not really familiar with Origin as well. You just shortcut for that. I would have to think so. Control tab, no. Alt shift M. Is it shift this? Alt uh, shift that. I don't know. Brian. Yo. I mean, I was thinking today though that I just remember a time when the MMO market was like super full, but now it just feels empty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, people. They there was a rush because of WoW's success. Like there are people who aren't gamers, but they played WoW for like ten years. You yeah. know, and it's like WoW just kind of had this moment in which that it's like people like I would be I'd be at work and it's like people would be like yeah I'm playing this game WoW I love it like oh do wow. you see it do you see it as like oh, a second home like the MMO yeah, like WoW do you see WoW as a second home <laughs> not for me I've never I've never been a big WoW guy no I mean the people who did play probably like, well. you know and it's like. It was kind of this moment, and I think well, well, there could be a resurgence with that with technology, um, you know, because all of a sudden it's like, what is an MMO anymore? And I've kind of hit, hinted that that, and people like feel like they have to defend the MMO. Like it's like, okay, what really is an MMO? And it's like you've seen MMOs get smaller, like in terms of the content size. So you look at the party size for fourteen, it's four, eight, and then you have twenty-four man content, where other games have exploded where you got Fortnite, which is a hundred person content, you know, it just grow like that's growing. And so I think what we'll see within uh, the next decade is we'll see maybe a couple of MMOs don't know if they'll be successful or not come on. And with the technology that's evolved over the last, just, you know, 10 years of what's coming down the pipe, you can see MMOs really explode. It's like, Oh, like, you know, a thousand person battle, you know, like, wow. Like things that haven't been able to be done up to this point, because local PCs couldn't handle them, I think that's what we'll see that kind of evolve. Any uh, any update on, on Bliss? 
Uh, I mean, we can, we can just start. Okay. I don't know how long he's gonna take. Oh, cool. let's do it. I didn't want to be rude, and he's he's like, oh, oh that's fine. <laughs> like, oh no. <laughs> Turn on some tunes. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, WoW to the players that enjoy that game is kind of like the uh, same thing as Final Fantasy fourteen and Final Fantasy eleven to the players that enjoy that. In a way, I like mean, I don't, I don't look at Final Fantasy fourteen as an MMO though. Like if you, if I look at fourteen, I look at it as a as a Final Fantasy game, and then it's an MMO, and so it's an MMO for those who want it to be. But most of the majority of the community, and maybe I'm being overly general, you know, I, I would like I don't have actual numbers, so this is just from my perception. Plays the game as a Final Fantasy game, and they, and that's where you, when you look at just, and I'm only looking at the numbers in earned media across the board. Pre-expansion, the biggest will ever be. After the expansion, one month. Once the sub comes due, you'll see those players come back in uh, in the point five patch. Get caught up on the story, play the expansion story, take a break for two years. Oh, yeah. I love the jingles. All right, um, that's, I guess let me pull up the map here. I've noticed that for many people, including uh, some of my real life friends, like they come back, they'll play up to the point five. They may stay around for like a month or two after the expansion comes out. Well, fast travel us because uh, there's a uh, the spots up know, in the get, north. They'll usually get one job to max level. And then they'll leave again up until the next expansion. Well, right before the next expansion. Tuna Boat Tony says off topic, but when we stream in Temtem again, probably tonight, Tuna. Um, like I've actually even got the uh, the live stream set up and ready to go. So, okay, where's the event? Echo Energy may silence that relic. Hurry. Those I'm not going to the event. I'm going to the icy thing. Oh, uh, the. Yeah, I marked it. Does does markings share with your with your group yet? Uh, I don't think so. Bummer. But yeah, I don't consider a lot of games MMOs. I I thought I was the only one that didn't consider fourteen an MMO. No, you're not. Um, but don't say that on Reddit. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't. I also don't consider, even though Destiny 2 says that they are, I don't really consider them one. Yeah, they're uh, not. They, they say they I are, which either. means that I think that's where they, they're they going with it. Like, when the, when Destiny devs say, hey, we're we're going to be an action MMO, I think that's what they're they're laying out, like, their direction. And I mean, they, yeah. they remind me a lot. Well, there's, like, aspects of it that kind of reminds me a little bit of, like, Eleven. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, there are certain stuff, like, to get the exotic weapons and stuff that's really grindy. Yeah. And so, I mean, that ki that kind of stuff actually, you know, honestly excites me. Because it's like, okay, that's an old-school MMO element that's kind of, in a way, been lost. Yeah. Would you not even say it's an MMO light? I'd say 14 is MMO light. The, uh, I mean, the rebuilding of Ishgard is a, um... Those is a great example of uh, like MMO content. I know? think if you consider 14 an MMO, uh, to answer your question, Star, if 14 is considered an MMO, then I think also at the same time the people that would consider 14 an MMO, an MMO Jeez, would have to do like 13 if, seconds. It feels forever away. They yeah, would have to uh, consider... give you a hint which one is coming out. By the way, it starts good glowing. Oh, no, good God, get there! I'm uh, not gonna make it. I made it. Well done. Oh man. So there's a little white strip that shoots out uh, light from whichever one is spawning. I don't know where they are. They spawn different I areas. See but... I see the strip. I'm here. I'm, I'm in place. Jeez Louise, dude, that was stressful. Yeah, anxiety. Okay, it's up. I didn't mean Final Fantasy, I mean, uh. Like Destiny, do you think that's a light MMO? Oh yeah, it's MMO light. I would like to see them... I'd love to see them do more. Like, I think and I would love more player trading. Like, I think the player economy is one of the things that... ...balances out a lot of different things, and... ...we see so much more instant stuff. And I'd love to see that kind of shift back to where it's like... 
Yeah, okay. I'm getting I'm getting uh, set up for the next one. Um right. okay, it's up. All right, grab it. Up. Oh yeah. Don't say that one too loud, Ryan. You'll get a lot of players that sit there and try to tell you that everything in 11 was instance. Which I mean the zones were, but the content itself was not. Right. Like I I I'm I'm a guy who likes like I think That's the it. the Keep future is in my mind is the is a hybrid uh like instead of a theme park and a sandbox we get a sand park and that's what i've been calling that namely because like the biggest complaint you see when from people is that when in 14 when they run out with stuff to do same thing with wow you know it's like oh gosh like i want to okay you got it okay yeah um you know it's like what should i be doing it's like well i mean in the theme park model right. you wait till the new a new attraction comes out and that's where you'll see a lot of people like make the thing like, oh, why should you do this like that a thousand times? Like, oh, because it's fun. It's like, fun is great. And I do something, you know, five or six times for fun. But then I'm like, where's the reward? You know, <laughs> like I want to. Oh, my God. I got it. No, nah, it's too late. Oh, we already failed the event? No, it's, we. I mean, we missed the canister. I suppose it's more cool. It had, uh, it, it just spawned. We'll get more later. Yeah, no. That, that confused me. That we are on top of those canisters. I don't. Oh, sorry. Do we just wait around for it to reset? Um, I think it's two minutes or four minutes. I can't remember. Okay. But I don't know if it's going to be here. It might be somewhere else. Well, it's if it's not here, like this thing goes away, right? Uh, sure. Asterisk. <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah, like it's usually where they got the uh, the, the drill mine. What's hitting me? The uh, fruits. Looks like I gotta get the restroom. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm excited to see where Anthem goes. They, uh,. Somebody leaked uh, information that they're actually releasing something um, in regards to it, or update, or I don't know, something um, after this Ice Tide event. So, yeah, we'll see. got to go to respawn at the Tomb of Artinia. Tomb of Artinia? All right. Yeah. One sec. It's Karif. Gone. See ya, Artinia. And I'm right there. Am I getting anything or am I just leaving? Uh, it's a fast travel to uh, this um, uh, cooling event. Awesome. Oh, good song. Let me turn the volume. Would you hold on to me, Tyler? If we roll 
from town to town, never shut it down. Yeah, that's Kylo. There we go. If we were lost in fields of gold, I'm drinking some black cherry white claws. In a way, it uh, like it's gluten free, which is the most important thing. Cause like, dude, gluten and corn right, have just wreck me. I'm just like, no. Yeah, I remember that. Julie got some. She found a rotisserie chicken, and uh, and I was like, oh yeah, you know, cause like, yeah, rotisserie is great. Didn't even think about it. Ate it, and I was like, out for like a day. I was just like, oh, okay. That I was like, I didn't even think about it, and I was just like, I gotta be more careful. Yeah, thankfully I'm not like my sister. My sister, she'll, like, her throat will close up. She'll have to go to the hospital. That's rough. Yeah. My <laughs> girlfriend has a, uh, a nut allergy. I oh, almost no. killed her like 18 times. Dude, be careful. <laughs> they put nuts in every brutal. Yeah. I bought, no, I, uh, when we first started going out, she got rushed to the hospital because uh, I was being nice. And um, I bought her a bottle of uh, shampoo. Oh, wow. Uh, or body wash or something. Yeah. Um, it contained almond. Oh, no. F and almonds, man. <laughs> well, it's not even that. I can't even. Dude, I haven't had a candy bar in a year. I'm proud of you, dude. That's it's, that, it's that's that's dedication, that, man. That's dedication. It's that bad. Yeah, my wife is allergic to seafood and mushrooms. Mushrooms? Yeah. Is that a, is a specific type of mushroom, or just like uh, any, any, any kind of fungi? Any kind of fungi. Got to clean between the toes. <laughs> no. Um, and like. It sucks because she's like, no, go ahead, go eat, you know, some crab or some mushrooms or whatever. I'm like, but I feel bad. When you have, uh, when you have like guy time, you're like, it's bro night. Bring out the mushrooms and the crab. Let's go. Pretty much. Like, we'll, so at work for lunch, sometimes we'll go out to like a sushi restaurant or something like that. Mm -hmm. But then once I get home, I have to like sterilize my face. Mm -hmm. I've got, I'm allergic to oranges. And I love oranges. <laughs> Boy, it's as long as it doesn't get on my skin. Like it would. There's five different. Um, there's like five different groups of allergens. Oh, Tree wow. nuts. Um, I'm looking for the the lights for these. Oh, here it is. All right, I'm I'm staged for the first one. Those canisters are volatile until we get them stabilized. Your core temperature is dropping, Freelancer. I wish I could at least sprint. I'm just like... Okay, got nice one. Smooth and steady. Let's you focus on the baddies. Alright, where are you? Okay, see the next one. I'm getting it. Like jumping's faster. It is. Okay, Actually. good. <laughs> I was like, it feels like I'm much faster good. jumping, and then I'm like, am I destabilizing myself? Like, no, apparently not. Alright, where's the next one? Oh, I found it. Alright. Staged. So I've been getting caught up on uh on Flash. And man, it gets so much better after uh, Savitar. Anybody here a Flash fan or uh, watch that show? Uh, the WGN? Yeah. Uh, season one, maybe? Okay. So, what like, I, I fell off. Like, they had, like, season three. 
and I was like watching it and I just got like I was like ah oh, I'm so tired of the season anyway so I finally finished that one this year and um yeah, the guy got it the guy got it um and then season four like I was like oh this is why I fell in love with the series but anyway I was just very very pleased with that and now I've been on UK uh UK binge as of late UK? Uh, yeah, UK shows. What do you What are you watching from the UK? Uh, started getting into Doctor Who. Okay. Uh, watching a lot of uh, uh, I guess game show panel shows. Okay. Uh, would I lie to you? Awesome. <laughs> um, and eight out of ten cats. Which is also awesome, in my opinion. <laughs> it's okay, you don't need to say your opinion. They're off to the stabilized coolant. It's unfair how much damage I do with my Venom Storm. Love it. So, I do, uh, each missile does 210,000 damage. No oh, combo. nice. If they land. So, being that you've spent so much time with this game, oh no, I should probably use Super Mario. Yeah. Um, what would you like? What do you want to see them do for like a uh, like a 2.0 or you know something like that? Like, what? Would, like you already like you say you love the game. Content what do you What do you want? Content isn't gonna mean no matter how good the content is, it's not gonna mean. Uh, Crap. Uh, for lack of a better swear word, but uh, it's, it's it's not gonna mean anything if they don't make it more stable. Because there's still instability issues for some users. Oh yeah, I've, I've seen some of the, the, the things. My thought would be like I would love outside of them, I, like I want them to embrace the RPG a little bit more. You know, because like they kind of talked about it, where it's like, yeah, let me. Uh, they gave us a like the update that was the only thing that really frustrated me was uh, they gave us the increased uh, flight time and, and and cooldown stuff. And I'm like, man, you know, I should be able to just level that. Like, if I want increased flight, you know, like let me just use all this XP that I'm getting and and level it. I want a little bit more RPG and crossplay for me would be so key. I'd, I'd like more, a, a lot more story. Oh yeah, because they left off. So the, the lore in this game is like, is like, unbelievable. Like when you start unpacking it, it's yeah. like the thing that, like the theory that I'm running off of is that the uh, just because, like, we're in these javelin suits, which makes you think sci-fi. However, I think it's really a fantasy game. Like I think that, like at the end of the day, like. If we fight some big dragon, I'm not going to be surprised. I think that from a technological perspective, it's like the javelins have enabled us to survive on this planet, but ultimately like it's it's really like we're it's very primeval. Like we were kidnapped, brought to this planet as slaves, and eventually we were able to sit here and like mount some kind of resistance against the the, the Orgoth or whatever they call it too long and now they're like coming back and it's like oh yeah and then you have the whole like mystical anthem thing it's like i don't know like i think the lore in this game especially with how the anthem can reshape reality it's like yeah. the reality stone and like you know it's like all right well this is what you know this is reality now like holy like that gives them such license to just even rewrite the um like oh why did this change in the game anthem <laughs> we just changed it What's up? What's up? Is the Super Bowl over? I don't watch it. I wasn't asking you specifically. <laughs> I just some Ken was like, "What's the Super Bowl?" I'm like, I don't know. I like video games. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I want to check out the like, all hopefully awesome commercials. 
Yeah. yeah. So what? So Taco, you know what? Like when I first when I because I skipped over the the Cataclysm main event, and I checked out Season of the Skulls a little bit, and really like Ice Tide hooked me with the whole strongholds uh, concept, and I'm like, man, I, I hope that we keep that mindset of this weekly rotations, you know, stronghold, um, kind of like the uh, the Nightfall in uh, Destiny, but like what was really cool. Totally forgot my point. Um, oh, is that with the Guardian tokens, all of a sudden, all these materials that I stocked up, like, I've actually just been... Now I'm like, man, like, oh, I every time I get an Ember, I'm like, woo, <laughs> I need those. <laughs> like, because I went and I was able to get a whole set of, like, so I'm 960 on Storm, so I was able to go and just, like, with all of my previous gameplay, like, well, here we go. But then I'm like, oh, man, now I'm all, like, low on Embers and stuff. I mean, you can. Uh, oh, or, oh, yeah. I honestly, I stopped when I got whatever I wanted. Yeah. Because like, I don't think I can get any better for how I want to build this Colossus. Because yeah. I'm just catered to my Venom Storm. Everything I have is just catered to my Venom Storm. Um, but I wish they didn't get rid of. Cataclysm, because I never got to play Cataclysm, and it looked pretty awesome. I hopefully they bring it back. Like my thought is, is that because we don't know what's coming. That like this is the Ice Tide's the last like known like okay, this is what they're doing. Well, they announced that leak got announced, um, and then they deleted it. Oh yeah, like with... I don't think yeah expectations. Yeah, fall short. Um, they don't want to deal with how they launched the game again. Oh yeah, which they, is ideal. Yeah. Well, um, they don't. You don't need to give YouTubers any license to make drama videos. <laughs> uh, I say that as uh, YouTubers, though. It's like, all right. Man. Yeah, it's uh, everyone starts click uh, making click baiting titles and killing the game before it's even out. Well, and that's what the strength of Apex is. Like, it, if you have a good game, honestly, if the game's good, just just hot drop it on people now. Like, don't get like, cause like everybody's like gonna make a license for whatever to sell whatever narrative they want. Yeah, and then everyone like all the clickbaiting headlines don't mean shit, cause it's all conspiracy theories, essentially. Mhm. Mm it gets the views, man. It gets the views. The main problem, I think. When you, like, I'm gonna turn Sparta up. One second, Sparta. Overhyped. Hold on, Sparta. I, I want to hear your point. Like for some reason, I'm I'm turning you up. Like your volume's low. Can you say something now? Uh, yeah. Oh like, yeah, much game... better. Go ahead. Who knows? The game got overhyped. Oh yeah. And it was mostly their fault that it got overhyped. Well, and it's that set. It's like whenever uh, as gamers, like when we're like, they've been working on this for seven years. It's like, wait, like, okay. <laughs> Same thing with Final Fantasy 15. It's like they've been working on this for that 10 years. In no, no, they weren't. That I game know, they been weren't. in development for three years. Right. I know that. I'm saying that the general populace is like, oh wow, like if they had te seven years to work on this. They had 10 years to work on it. It's going to be a bigger game. It's like, oh well, maybe. <laughs> it's not only that. Uh, at E3 and EA Play, every company has a tendency of. Uh, Exaggerating everything they launch. Yeah, the it's the, it's PR. Did you do you remember the trailer for uh, Anthem? In Dude, 2017? If, when we right now we're in free play, right? The trailer for Anthem is like basically like here we are in free play, but then let's say we were like let's go to do a stronghold, and then we just go do a stronghold, and that's the thing. It's like when you go to the real game, you're like all this loading. It's like oh no, like when you when I'm out in free play and you see all this stuff going on, it's fun. Like the like. They have to get to that. They ha like if they can go and launch Anthem as what that E3 trailer was, like where you're just out and about and you're like, let's go do this content. Like holy crap, that's I think that's what people want. But go ahead, Taco, you're gonna make a point. No, no, I was saying uh, that what you just said and uh, the graphics in general and the gameplay. Like overall, it was such a polished trailer. Oh, very. 
And what they did in 18 months, it's like, dad gum, they like, they nailed the javelins. Like the things that they got right, they, I think they got right. What they the didn't fly, get right. The flying and then coming, coming down and doing a uh, ground combat. It's awesome. Yeah. I don't know of another game that does that. Down. What they got right, they got right. Now, ideally, they can take what they got right, they can fix what they got wrong, and essentially, like, like, there's nothing wrong with a menu system, but, like, just the pacing of the game, right? Like, when you go from, like, this, which, like, I don't care. Like, I will go and, like, like if, if we were sitting here and it's like there's a stronghold over off in that corner. Oh, there's a quest that we need to do over here. Oh, like, let's do that. And let's say you had a single player story element that you needed to go do. Like, if you just bounced out and went and did that, and then you just came back and joined us, like, when you were done, like, we were, there's no down, people aren't sitting around, like, waiting to play. And I think that would have probably worked out, like, a lot better in their favor. And I think the technology that they didn't able to do is that in this free play, there's only four people. But this is a massive zone. And if they filled it with people and events and things, all these things going on, it gives reason to like show off your tusk gear. Like you're you're rocking the new yeah, like or, or NPC or enemies or anything. Yeah. It's oh yeah. So empty. Mm hmm It reminds me Anthem's story reminds me a lot of Final Fantasy XIV's 1.0 story. It's like giant world. Nothing in it. And it's like, oh, <laughs> Even 2.0, like, even 2.0, it's, it's the same way, really. It's, yeah, it's a giant world, but there isn't a lot in it, like, quest-wise. Oh, that's how I do emotes. I was like, I gotta hold down. Uh, why does it not let me do an emote? Maybe I'll land? There we go. I love the emotes in this game. Like that's all I spend my coin on. <laughs> it's like emotes. Somebody's like your your uh, your your uh, storm looks like you know the Joker or whatever. I was like I'm horrible when it comes to like uh, making my my characters look like anything. But emotes, like hands down, man. <laughs> What's up, blue shades? Yeah, it was like all they were, well, it was all open and connected until it wasn't. Like, if you zoned into different regions, it was still a loading screen. I thought they were going to try to do, like, what WoW does. So it's like you just kind of transition. Well, yeah, in 1.0, they, it, it, there was still loading, like, loading going on, but it was... Is Blaster Mike that just joined us your friend? Corridors. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let me see if I can't friend him. Social... And add to favorites, why not? And um hmm. Okay. I don't, I don't know origin, so I'll just add them to favorites. And then like back to it, like to the point where I would love to see like the the loot that I get as I pick it up. You know? They did show that in the trailer as well. Yeah, and I'm like, oh man, like that looks fun. It'd be nice to know oh, what it looks you're like it's up to the the drill, and then delete it. Mm -hmm. Should we fast travel to the str uh, Strider to get to the the drill? Uh, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Right, let's do that. But those graphics in that trailer, man. Total lie. <laughs> did uh, did I not respond, Lou? I thought I, I did. Oh, I guess maybe you're asking about numbers. If you're asking about numbers, Blue, just do whatever. That's, that's kind of like. God. Sorry, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing Pyro and nice. I'm trying to do one of the flight levels. The one thing I always hated about Spyro was their flight. I always have a dog in the Oh, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. It's because to, to, to 100% every level, you have to. One of them is you have to do the flight level, and I 
absolutely hate the flight level. Did um, were there any video game announcements regarding uh, uh commercials for the for uh whatever a Super Bowl? Super Bowl. I heard Xbox was gonna have some kind of commercial. At least that's what somebody were teasing on on Twitter. I don't know. The only one I saw was Jason Momoa for uh, Rocket Man, which was actually pretty funny. Oh yeah. Oh god, it was hilarious. I saw a Groundhog's Day one that was on Twitter that I thought was funny. Uh, did you hear that the uh, the Groundhog actually did it the Mayor of Punch Tony? Yeah. Really? I thought that was great. I mean, that's only like an hour and a half away from me. So. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Take a right, going for the canister. Alright, we got it. You got it. It's even worse on Colossus. Let's see. We're getting the next one. What? Uh, going quick. Uh, um. You might want to find out where these uh, machines are. Good. Now keep yeah. At it. Looking around, I see one over here. God, this is the worst one over here. Oh man. Yeah. You got it? Uh. Okay, you got it, sweet. Dash line. Password paradise. We're getting yeah, the next one. I, I don't go. Know. These things are popping fast. Uh, Okay, yeah, never mind. <laughs> it's about saving passwords and stuff. Doritos. Got it. Right, last one. One more to go. Okay. Got it. Got it. I think they're going to spawn on the left hit. side. My little diamond is a firecracker. Left side, you said? Left side, at yep. first. Yeah, I need to kill the outlaws. Hey Soro, did uh have you have you got any resolution on your issue with uh, Shadow PC yet? I never thought there was any gaming commercials this year. Yeah. Turn it now. 
Big guys. Three more big guys. Three. Harvest your own coolant, you bastards. Fantastic work. Any more, any more. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, sit down. I wish I could track progress, like on my screen. That'd be a little too incon or convenient. <laughs> In your hand. Punch. Well done. All right. You're on PC, right? Yeah, on Origin right There's now. There's probably a mod for it. Probably. All right. How many more of these do you need? Let me check. Like, speaking of Season of Ice Tide, Endurance Challenges, Tip of the Iceberg, um, jeez Louise. They want me to do 20 on just step one. So I'm five of 20. What's my step two? And, good and 40. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> thank God they That's extended they the event. That's how Thank God they extended the event, man. Because it's now going all the way through the 22nd. So most of the other oh. stuff, like, I'm getting close to getting done. Like, I feel like I'm doing good there, but... Ball Harvest, what do you need here? Outlaws defeated. Nice. Crossmaster. That's how ga games like this get you. They like, yeah, you got a long grind ahead of you. I don't mind grinding games. I never have. It's just that, like, does the game, like, completely undo it after the fact? Like, oh, you did that. Now it's like, then, do then some more. March. Well, and then March comes around. They're like, well, you know, here you just need five now. And you're like, what? Like, why did why did you make me do forty? And then it's like, well. Because, uh, like, all these other players came in and they whined. Like, oh. So far, this is what, um, hey, as far thanks, as, Professor. uh, uh data mining goes. Yeah. Uh, at the end, at the last week or two, they're unlocking all the seasonal events and all the strongholds at the same time. Hmm. That's fine. That's like you, what you go and run it, yeah. Well, a lot of people got pissed off at the, the faction point fix. What was the faction point fix? Uh, for every seasonal uh, stronghold run, each player got 600 points. Okay. Um, and then they didn't say anything to anyone. And then they mentioned it with the update. Okay. And the update fix it. And that's what everyone was pissed off about. Gotcha. Alright. Oh, okay. It looks like it's now in the south. So it looks like the fastest way to get there is... Uh, Fort Tarsus. Fort Tarsus. Fast traveling. Alright, I'm going to do this one more. And then I'm going to switch to Temtem. Uh, Temtem's the uh, like Pokemon. Well, it's like the. Uh, I think somebody said it best. I think uh, Layman Gaming were like, uh, Pokemon's the Temtem clone. <laughs> no, Temtem's a Pokemon clone. Did you get the joke though? Yeah, it's it's not a good one. I'm sorry, but <laughs> it, they're, they're lucky they're not getting sued. Oh like, no, you literally. can't you can't sue because they got Digimon. There's other mon like they can't copyright the. The, the like monster collection game, they 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 would have had to sue a long time ago. A lot of other games. What is it, Tim Tim or Tam Tam? T E M T E M. Tim Tim is how I've been calling it. Oh yeah, I've done this one. This one's nice because it's like I felt like everything was real close. The thing about the thing about Digimon comparing Digimon to Pokemon, 
Digimon and Pokemon are completely different mm. in every way. Yeah, it's their monster collection game. Well, Dragon but... Quest Monsters is what I was thinking of, but go ahead. Yeah. But, uh, like, looking at Tim Tim, it's basically Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, like, that's, that's, the nostalgia is going to get you and make you understand exactly what it is right off the bat, but then, like, Tim Tim levels it up, like, Tim Tim's a better game than Pokemon. Like, it's just, it's just, like, right now, a fundamentally better game, and ideally, Again, if Pokemon does, opinion. like, if po Pokemon steps up and says, hey, here's our Pokemon MMO, like, yeah, I think Temtem's, like, they're just gonna get crushed. <laughs> Who wouldn't want that? Um, but if they don't, and they just say, like, hey, we're gonna focus on the single-player story Pokemon games, that's what we want to do, you know, maybe there'll be room in which that they collaborate in the future or something like that, because it's like, they, I mean, like, it is, you know, it is Pokemon Online. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I mean, what while it's Pokemon Online, though, is yeah, they uh, Nintendo can't sue because Again, it's not, it's not, it's not, not Nintendo everything. that would sue. People yeah, say I, Nintendo, it's not Nintendo. Game Pokemon Freak can't is sue. Completely Pokemon company. Camp Company, none of them would sue. They yeah. would have to have sued a long time ago to have some like, like we we copyrighted the this kind of mechanic of catching and battling. It's like. It, and that would definitely be very hard to do. Like, you'd be have to get prove. before a judge and be like, oh, we copyrighted this, and you'd have to hope that the judge was on your side. What Temtem is, it's a response to the market in which that people were saying, this is what we want, and then Nintendo, Game Freak, Pokemon Company said, no, we're not doing that. And then they said, well, all right, we'll just go make it ourselves if no one's going to do it. And it turns out, people wanted that. And uh, I hopefully, you know, hopefully they keep it up. Like uh, Star Wars saying, speculating that more stuff is coming. It's like, well, the fact that it's coming to Switch, gonna be more. Like, honestly, somebody was even saying like, if it if it continues to grow and is is, is successful, you could easily see one of the big three like trying to pick it up and bring it in in their house, right? Like, I would think Microsoft and Google and Amazon, like all of them, would want to try to have something that they can. Say like, hey, this is you know, like you can play Pokemon or you can play Temtem, you know. Yeah, but then if they did if again, I'm I'm speculating if if they yeah. did that, other players would get really mad at that person that did that. Why? It's like, okay, so it goes in house. Okay, yeah, then it's exclusive to that system. Oh no, we're. Like, the, the only people who are going to be doing exclusives are people who don't want to be around in 15 years. Like, Temtem, is, its strength is the fact that you can play it on all systems. Just like Minecraft. Like, the numbers... Sony and Microsoft will not be around in 10 years. Nintendo won't be around in 10 years. Probably not Nintendo. Literally their business. Yeah, Nintendo's going to go third party or they're going to go away. Say if... Pokemon wanted to sue somebody when they had, had to sue like Tamagotchi the first. Yeah, yeah. Well, Tamagotchi should have sued Pokemon. <laughs> you yeah, can't yeah. Like, like that's like copywriting like you know, oh you've got like guns and stuff in your game like like it's just like the idea is too too broad. Now if Temtem says like you, you literally cop copy Pikachu, like yeah we got problems. Oh yeah, I mean and that that was my thought about Temtem like that would be like. Uh, you know, all the car manufacturers back in the early 1900s trying to say Ford couldn't make a car, which they did, and the judges and the uh, judges said, yeah, you can't copyright the idea of a car. Right. Yeah, I, I haven't played them. I'm not going to, because uh, like, I've spent too much money on other shit, and yeah, yeah, I've also can. got financial issues. So, yeah, no, like, no worries, man. So what I've seen of it, it doesn't interest me. Okay. Because... It's like, yeah, you're saying MMO, like, I never asked for an MMO Pokemon. Okay. I think Pokemon as a single player game is good. Good. That's it. No one's That's telling it. you, Sparta, that you need to go and quit Pokemon and go play Temtem. I'm telling you, though, Temtem is a better game than Pokemon. In your opinion. That's, that, like, I understand. Yeah, I should, it's, it's the internet. We should have to not qualify things with, in my opinion. It's such a waste of time. Yeah. 
but then... Would I be providing somebody your... Oh, no, I would be providing them my... It's, it's in my mind, it's a redundant phrase. So, we'll do that though. In my opinion, Temtem is a superior product in every way. <laughs> Heads up, outlaws. They're off to the coonet. Of course they were, now the risky part's done. Okay, they need business. Sent a couple of guns. Because I also have, even, yeah, we don't know if they're going to do it again. It's the whole fear of, because of all the issues we've had with some of the, the bigger developers. Oh, yeah. We don't know how they're going to monetize it. Hands down, yeah. That's like, like what What are they going to do? Because they're selling it, yeah. which is great. But at some point, it's like, okay, you're going to be online. How are you going to pay for the servers and things like that? That's and why I'm like, I'm wondering, like, if, if, it's, if it's not going to be acquired. Right? Like, where it's like... Okay. My hope is that it just, you know, it does well for them and people enjoy it and then they have a good monetization system. And maybe it's an expansion. Like, there's all kinds of different business models. Ooh, he's legendary. Studio? What studio made up? It's... Who is the studio? It's a new one. When I boot it up, it should say. It's like, I think it starts with a C. But it's it's Trend Time's also going to be like a 2020 game, just so you know, because it's like a it's early access right now. So it's like half the they delivered like a like, I think they said like a 20 hour game, like from a story perspective and and more, and then they have like a roadmap of things that they're bringing to it. Fantastic work. complete. Perfect. Oh, we'll grab a couple of these purples that are just lying around. Get some embers here. Loot limit reached! Well, this has been a good run then. Um, how do I, how do I, can I drop stuff? Okay. It looks like I've got space in my, my backpack. Um, can I drop this? I mean, you're still gonna get it when you, uh, Okay. Alright, I'm gonna back this out though. Down on your face. Roll the dice and have some faith. Don't be falling in the Go check the event. My podcast finish. I'm having nothing but trouble trying to get this podcast uploaded. What's going on with it? It, like it, it's 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 failed and failed and failed and failed and I don't know if YouTube's running around doing something which sounds like it like usually when that happens it's because they are YouTube YouTube <laughs> yeah final oh yeah oh yeah. What's up? You're only at a tier three. What's tier three? Uh, Alliance tier three. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm, I have not played this this week. Alright, 
I'm gonna like, go make a pot of coffee, man. Uh, you're right. done, right? Yeah, I'm done for tonight. Thanks, Taco, for your help. Okay. All right, man. No problem. <laughs> Is she Have here? a good night. You too, dude. Have fun playing. Tim Tim. I will. That's a that's a chocolate. You Is know, the chocolate. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, cool. Let's see here, at Karn. What legendary did I get? I love a storm component. Stop giving me the melee stuff. I've got that. 200 weapon damage, though. Uh, plus 150 weapon damage for that punch. Hell yeah. Alright, fine. Give me that one. And let me keep you, keep you. Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. Alright. Alright, man. Catch you later. Alright, dude. Later, take guys. care, dude. Podcast. But she still believes in fate. Down to filing. Right now. A podcast. If I get notified, I'll let you know. Yeah, please let me know if you get notified. Will it be on this channel? Uh, YouTube or? is that. Like, so all of our live content is going to be on play. And then, um. Sorry, and then, you're uh, breaking up on me, Brian. Yeah, all of, our, all of our live content is going to be on work to play. Uh, okay, work good. To I won't get notified then. Yeah, yeah. So no it's offense, like, I unsubscribe to work to play because, I mean. Oh, man. The, um, but the work to game in the, uh, yeah, it looks like it's got two views. So I just went, so they are. Yeah, it's cool. up there. Sweet, perfect. Yeah, I was like, I was trying to get, I've been trying to get that up for four days. Anyway. Oh, jeez. Yeah, oh well. Let's see here. All right, let's, um, let's see here. Blue, that's a good question. Hit me up on Discord and we can go kind of from there. Have I found a use for pistols? Yes, like Avenging Herald on uh, my freaking storm is insane. Let me go ahead and equip it. Not Avenging Herald, but let me go equip my new punch because that just looks insane. Um, Searing Blast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Yeah, that's the new one. And ba boom. It's like 350% more damage. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, I'm gonna end stream and we'll be back up with a uh, with the Temtem stream here in just a second. Actually, let me make sure it's up and ready to go. And Temtem, because I had it as private. Something I yes, my man. All right, public, and we'll say yeah, we'll save. All right, cool, cool, cool. That should be up in a second. I'm gonna end. Stream